Hello friends, welcome to the tutorial of C programming. In this video, we are going to see one more example of do while loop. And this program will be to calculate an area of different geometric figures. Okay, but this is going to be a menu driven program means we are providing multiple options to the users and from that user will choose one. Okay, and the area will be calculated and displayed to the user. Okay, and again it will be asked to the user that whether he or she wants to continue or not. If again user want to continue, this process will repeat. Again you will enter an option. And that option will be for different different geometrical figures means for example if user enters R we will calculate the area of rectangle. If user enter T we will calculate the area of triangle. Okay. If user enter S we will calculate the area of square in this way. And for C we will calculate the area of circle means first of all we will input this option from the user R, T, S, C. Depending on the user's choice, we will take a required input from a user. Okay, Because for rectangle, we need two, uh, two sides, length and breadth. For triangle, we need three sides. For square, we need only single side. And for circle, we need a radius. So the input for different, different choices is again different. So after inputting the user choice that is R, T, S, C, then after we will input a required input. Okay. And then after we will calculate the area and we will display the result and we will ask the user to continue or not. If user says yes, again we will accept the option. Okay. So I hope you got this and this kind of program we already saw in a switch case example. But at that time, we do not include a loop in that part. Okay. So at that time what happened? We have to run your program again and again. Let me show that program so it will be more clear to you. So let me open it. Okay. Menu arithmetic. We already solved this program. Okay. So let us run this. Suppose I enter two value five and six. Okay, then it will ask me the option. I want to perform addition, so I'll say plus. Okay, so you'll get an addition result. Now your program get terminated here. And suppose you want to check for subtraction. What we have to do? We have to run our program again. Okay, we have to run our program again, and again we have to input the number, and then we will put a choice, and then after result will be calculated and displayed and your program get terminated. To check for the next option, again you have to run your program. Okay, So this thing we are going to avoid. Okay, After inputting the uh, choice, we will accept the required input and then after we will ask the user to continue or not. So I hope you got my problem. Hmm? So let us write the program directly. Hmm? So here we are going to use switch case and as well as do I loop. So here if we consider a triangle, only triangle needs three sides. Okay, only triangle needs three sides and rectangle need two, three, square needs one and circle needs one radius. So maximum requirement of an input is what? It is three and at a time only one case is going to be executed. So we can reuse our variable. So let us call our variable a, b, c. Okay. For triangle, we will use a and b. You can use b, c or a, c. For circle, we will use a. You, is, you can use any one variable. And for circle, also we need one single radius and we will use a. Again, uh, we are going to calculate a triangle area using three side uh, three side formula. So in that case, we have to calculate the semi perimeter also. So I will use S for that. Hmm. We need one result variable that will hold the area. So area variable is also required. Okay. And one more variable is required answer. 
because we want to ask the user whether to continue or not so we have to store the user feedback hmm? and we will store that user feedback in our answer variable it can be y or n so for that we need character type of data and all these variables sorry all these variables will be of type what float one more variable is required which is area so i hope you got this so let us write a program so float a b c then s and then area okay and we need one character type of variable say answer so here we are going to accept the choice first means this part first r t s c means we want to accept options okay so for that also we need one variable so let it be of type op, uh, let it be opt and it will be of type what it will be of type character okay so one more character type of variable is required so char opt so just opt because we already defined char here now here our requirement for different different geometric figure is different okay as i told you triangle needs three sides square needs two uh, single sides rectangle needs two sides okay that's why we are going to accept the option first and then after we will accept the required input so let me display the menu first so printf enter your option okay i'm going to display it uh, okay enter your option and then after we will display the menu okay before this we will display the menu say t for or say r for rectangle slash n s for square slash n t for triangle okay slash n and c for circle okay again slash in so after this new line get printed now let me correct this say rectangle now user will will display the message that enter your option and whatever option will be entered by user we will scan it in our opt variable so it is of type character so percent c comma m percent opt now all of you know that before scanning the character type of data we need to clear our buffer input buffer and for that we are going to use function f flush and since we are going to clear input buffer which is std in here so just clean it okay and then after scan the data now depending on your options value perform the actions so for that we are going to use switch so switch opt will have different different value so i'll put opt in variable in switch uh, bracket now case say s now user may enter small s also so our program should work for small s also so i'll define both the cases if it is capital s or small s then also this should get executed and i already explained this concept while studying the switch case so if you are not aware of this so please watch the switch case video now here our square need a single side only so we will display the message that enter side okay then after we will input it in variable a you can use any variable that we have declared in our upper section of a code so percent f m percent s okay now let us calculate the area so area is equal to what s into s now print the area area of square is percent f and let me put a slash in here so everything will appear properly so area okay now do not forget to put a break statement 
Now next case is for rectangle say R. So it should work for small r also. So I will put a small r also. So now r is for rectangle. So we need to accept length and breadth. So scan f. Now input the values in any of the two variables. So here I am accepting it in a and b. So ampersand a comma ampersand b. Now let us calculate the area. So area is equal to what a into b, which is nothing but our length and breadth. Now again print f area of rectangle it's percent f slash n comma area so actually we are reusing our variables because at a time only one case is going to be executed now case c so which is for circle so print f enter radius Okay, then let us scan it in variable a or any one of the variable that we declare percent f and percent a and let us calculate the area. So area is equal to what pi r square. So 3.14 into r into sorry now this time our r is a radius is in variable a. Now again print f area of circle is percent f slash n comma area and the most important statement break now last case remains which is of triangle so for that our case is t capital t or small t now triangle needs three sides to be inputted so print f uh, let me put a double quote here print f enter three sides now let us scan it in variable a b c so scan f percent d sorry not percent d percent f percent f percent f three times m percent a comma m percent b comma m percent c then calculate the semi perimeter semi perimeter is half of the perimeter that is a plus b plus c do not forget to include it in a bracket otherwise c by 2 will be calculated now let us calculate the area area is equal to square root of s into s minus a into s minus b into s minus c i already explained the area of triangle program separately okay so if you are not or uh, if you do not understand this so please watch that video so print f area of triangle is percent f slash n comma area and break if somebody enters the cases other than the cases that we define so in that case we have to specify the default and we will say invalid option now we want to repeat this process continuously okay so what we have to do we have to put this entire part in our do while we have to put this part entire part in do while loop because we want to continue this we want to execute this process at least once okay and then after we want to decide whether to continue or not okay so after completing this switch case okay this is switch case end after completing this switch case i'll ask the user whether to continue or not yes or no so again i'll flush my buffer 
input buffer okay then after scan the value of answer for that we already declare uh, answer variable which is of type character so ampersand ans and we want to continue this till user enter y so what will be the condition so answer is equal to equal to y or user may enter capital y so that's why i'm putting a or, or operator here and if you if user enter other than this two value it can be and it can be anything but other than y then your program will terminate so i hope you got this okay quite lengthy program but we, but we if you break it in small small part then definitely it is understandable okay and we reused our variable also so remember this thing and for square root we need mat.h header file so that file is also included okay so first of all in this part we displayed the option to the user then here we accepted the option then according to the user's option we wrote a different different cases and according to that we take a input we calculated the area and we displayed the area okay if the option do not matches with our specified cases in that case default part get executed and shows the invalid option after executing this we are asking user whether to continue or not if user enters y capital y or small y this process will repeat so let us run this program okay here see what is there expected semicolon before f flush means before this statement the semicolon is what missing let us run it again now i am entering r okay let me enter length and breadth so 6 and 5 see look at here what is the answer 30 which is right 6 into 5 is what 30 now here it is asking me to continue or not so i'll say why so again same process get repeated it will show me the option i'll say s yes. now it will accept the side and the area of square is 81 again i want to continue so i'll this time i'll enter c i'll enter the value of radius as 6.3 c the area is calculated again i'll say yes i'll say t so it will accept three sides say 3 4 5 so area of circle is 6 now suppose i entered in a y and suppose i enter invalid choice other than r s t c suppose i entered o okay so it is it shows me that invalid options and again it, it will ask me whether to continue or not i'll say yes again suppose i entered r so i'll enter through three val two values now so area of rectangle get calculated now i want to stop so i'll say no and my program will terminate okay so i hope you got the advantage of loop hmm? otherwise in arithmetic operation menu driven arithmetic operation i show you that every time i have to run the program okay to check for the other cases but here what happens our program get continue and here i want to perform this action at least once and then i want to ask the user to continue or not so do i loop is very useful here so if you have any comment or doubt you can ask me in a comment section okay and in next video we will see the new concept in c thank you